Hello, uh, nice to meet you. I, I, I like new people, so uh, that, that plaque incidentally is, is very nice. It's actually a ten dollar gift certificate to Blockbuster, and I just decided to give it back. Uh, <laughs> it truly is an honor to be before you this evening. I guess I was uh, shocked to think that my classmates thought me to be someone who was able to uh, stand up and talk. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where that idea came from. For those of you who are skeptical about uh, how I was voted to speak, just ask the superdelegates and they'll direct you to a party official. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think it's kind of fitting. For four years I've taken up time and kept my classmates from doing something or leaving class simply by asking questions or starting debates. So now, on the night of our crowning achievement, as graduates, here I am. With the power of my voice, I can delay the handing out of diplomas. <laughs> what power? But don't push me. I have a Bible and a phone book from which to read, so I'm plenty ready to filibuster. <laughs> <laughs> Graduation really is an acknowledgement of everyone who's been a part of our progress through school, family with, uh, uh, without whom none of us could function, faculty whose guidance was constant, classmates who shaped our ways of thinking. Uh, but how about the cars that start every morning unconditionally, almost? <laughs> and what about the pets? Let's hear it for the pets. <laughs> Here's an interesting point after all the obvious contributors to our graduation. What about the inanimate mechanical things that were necessary? I personally would like to thank my Dell Latitude laptop for housing all of my papers that were done at the last second. <laughs> Apart from all of these contributors, however, one man has been the Alpha and the Omega, the way and the light, the decider, President George W. Oh, <clears throat> pardon, uh, Mr. Bill Lawrence. <laughs> be seen monitoring dress code, mopping the cafeteria floor, and greeting congressmen. <laughs> Mr. Lawrence's unassuming, humble personality underscored his flexible nature as an administrator. In short, I would like to dedicate my address to the man who made this journey through high school available to us. I first wrote a Shakespearean parody in seventh grade, and I first parodied the famous Julius Caesar Friends Romans Countryman monologue in Ms. Lawson's tenth grade English class. <laughs> Let me set the scene of this hypothetical version of that monologue. Dr. Sue Davis has just ordered Dr. Lawrence to, or Mr. Lawrence to step down because of his age. <laughs> to which he responds, it too. too. <laughs> I now take the role of Mark Antony in the speech. Bear with me. <clears throat> Graduates, parents, faculty, lend me your programs. I come to roast Lawrence, not to praise him. <laughs> the evil that freshmen do lives after them. The good is often terrid with their bathroom graffiti. <laughs> so let it be with Lawrence. The noble Davis hath told you Lawrence was old. If it were so, it were a grievous fault. And grievously have Lawrence answered it. Here, under the leave of Davis and the rest. For Davis is a school board official. So are they all. All school board officials. <laughs> Come I to speak in Lawrence's retirement. He was my principal. Faithful and energetic to me. But Davis says he was old. And Davis is a school board official. <laughs> he has brought many students home to school whose ransoms did the general pink slips fill. <laughs> did this and Lawrence seem old? When that the test takers have cried, Lawrence hath wept. Infirmity should be made of sterner stuff. Yet, Davis says he was old. And Davis is a school board official. You all did see that on Galileo I thrice presented him one of my tacky Hawaiian t-shirts. <laughs> which he did thrice refuse. Was this old age? Yet, Davis says he was old, and sure, Davis is a school board official. I speak not to disprove what Davis spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know. 
You all did get sent to his office once, but not without cause. <laughs> what cause then withholds you to walk to lunch instead of run? <laughs> oh, judgment. Thou art fled to SOL practice tests. <laughs> and I, these students, have lost their internal assessments. <laughs> that was for you, Ms. Ranger. <laughs> Bear with me. My diploma is at the end of this program there with Lawrence. And I must pause till it come back to me. Seen. <laughs> uh, on a personal note, um, I'm not exactly someone who would necessarily thrive in a typical high school setting. My favorite music bands all pretty much died out 30 years ago. Um, the most athletic I, thing I do is golf. And my political beliefs are somewhere to the left of the Pacific Coast. Um, <laughs> and yet, I, I survived high school. And uh, not only that, but I actually enjoyed it immensely and had some of the best times of my life. And for that, I'd like to thank Galileo, and uh, therefore I'd like to thank Mr. Lawrence. Thank you.